Hello and welcome to What's In This Week's Open Times with me, Sandy Neal. And me, Cathy Griffiths. Well, the two of us are here to give you a little insight into just some of the stories that are in the Open Times this week. You can read all the stories and lots more online by going to opentimes.co.uk or by picking up a printed copy in newsagents, supermarkets and fuel stations. Well, the big news this morning is that one lane of the A85 at Lockhaw reopened on Tuesday afternoon following a landslide at the Falls of Kruikan on Monday. But the railway line will stay shut for several days while engineers assess the damage. ScotRail said it is currently unable to run services between Korean Larrick and Oban, and it has a very limited replacement bus service. Their advice is not to travel, as they cannot guarantee you'll be able to complete your journey. But we also had an explanation for the landslip from Network Rail and Bear Scotland, who, quite frankly, made an incredible effort to clear the road and railway yesterday. Uh, there will be some sore arms and shoulders this morning, for sure. The landslip, which occurred at 2.20pm on Monday, we're told, was caused by a high volume of water flowing down the embankment from 80 metres above the train line, after a sudden rise in temperatures following last week's prolonged freezing conditions. We have some accounts of the travel disruption, including one seven-hour bus journey. You can read more on our website or in tomorrow's paper. Meanwhile, a Kintyre councillor who resigned from Argyll and Butte Council's ruling administration is now sitting as an independent after being suspended from the authorities' conservative group. But neither the Knife Edge Coalition or the opposition group waiting in the wings can rely on his vote. Interesting times ahead at Kilmory. Another councillor has slammed plans to allow large chain stores to take part in a local shopping loyalty scheme. And mariners are calling for more time to consider Argyll and Butte Council's plans to run Oban Bay, which were published a week before councillors meet tomorrow to approve them. Plus, we have a special Christmas story podcast from our archives. Now, you can imagine the rich seam of stories that are in our archive so you can find our new podcast on our website opentimes.co.uk and you can also download it from apple amazon and spotify kathy what have you been up to this week well i don't know what you're hoping for this christmas sandy but children on lane are actually hoping for the best christmas present ever they want to get their school minibus reinstated at the moment they could get a minibus if the parents wanted them to but it only goes as far as the ferry shed on Ling, and then they have to walk onto the ferry, nip across the Cooan Sound, walk back off the ferry, walk up the ramp and get onto a service public bus that then takes them to the three miles journey to school. So they desperately, desperately want their minibus reinstated so it can pick them up from home and take them all the way to school and back again. So um, campaigners, safe transport campaigners, have actually sent a letter to our Garland Butte Chief Executive, Pippa Mill, to ask her for this, to see, you know, it's a festive plea. She has said, yes, I've received the email, and she's passed it on for a response. So let's wait and see what happens next year. Now, if you're by yourself this Christmas, Hope Kitchen is open for lunch on Christmas Day and on Boxing Day. That's 11 till 2, so you can go along there. Um, also, we've been hearing from a film director who has links to Seal and Easdale and Fort William, a lady called Lizzie Mackenzie, who made an incredible documentary and also turned it into a film about uh, the Hermit of Tree. He lives um, it's about 20 miles away from Fort William in a little log cabin, and he's been there for about 40-odd years, living in the wilderness. And it's an incredible film and it's won loads of awards and most recently won a Scottish BAFTA. That film will be coming out online soon as well, so you can keep an eye for that. So here at the Open Times, we're always happy to hear your stories and see your photos. You can get in touch with us by giving us a call on 01631 56 8000. I was chuckling there, folks, because please don't ring us on Christmas Day because we won't be here. But you can still you can still email us on Christmas Day if you like at editor at opentimes.co.uk and also you can message us on Facebook. Well, thank you very much, Kathy. I think that about wraps it up from us. Oh, was that a pun? Was that a festive pun? Unintentional, but thank you for noticing. <laughs> 
but I'll take it. So with that, I think it's a Merry Christmas from me and... A Merry Christmas from me, Kathy Griffiths. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Hey.